Breaking news. Today on Zed News, Joe Biden has the most important message he's ever delivered. You're not going to want to miss this. Also on today's show, Tyler Zed dives into the comments section and gets roasted again. And today is the official release date of Trailer Park Parable. All of this and more on today's episode of Zed News. Happy Tuesday and welcome to Zed Education and welcome to a very big day, folks. Very, very important day. Today is the release of my new book. We're going to talk about that and much more on today's episode of Zed News. We don't do many of these episodes. This is uh, the first time we've done this in a few months, I think. Uh, But here on these episodes, we cover the very important things. Here on Zed News, we like to inform the public, educate the public, because that's what we do. That's what I, that's what I live for. That's my passion. It's educating. Okay. And that's why we always start these Zed News episodes with our public service announcements. Public service announcements, number one. Always save the delivery fees. I say this all the time. This is a part of this channel. I have to hammer this lesson home. But another lesson on that, piggybacking off of the save the delivery fee, lead by example, man. Like this guy. Check this out. Look at that. That I mean, it's straight out of a cartoon. And he made it work. What is that, a Toyota? Honda Accord, maybe? Look at that. Another side note and another very important lesson on subpoint... Zeducation 1A, 1B, save the delivery fees, sub point B, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying here. You don't want to harm your car. You don't want to do damage to your car because you're saving the fee, but you don't want to add more fees. Look at this. You're pushing it, man. You are pushing it to the max. (laughs) I mean, you you might have some problems here, buddy. But nice work. Leading by example. I love it. Public service announcements number two. We have a new application of the term boat launch and there's more to this here check this out first so the look at that the boat literally launched um so the 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 psa here make sure she's strapped down always strap her down okay always make sure make sure you do that every time that's there that's part of the checklist Two, make sure you got insurance. I hope you got trailer insurance, truck insurance, and boat insurance. That's a tough one to see, man. That one hurts my heart. And public service announcements number three. I'm going to leave this one to Joe Biden. Check this out. We'll teach Donald Trump a valuable lesson. Don't mess with the women in America unless you want to get the benefit. Do we have a translator out there? Because I'm... I'm not totally getting the lesson here. Let's one more time. One more time. We'll teach Donald Trump a valuable lesson. Don't mess with the women in America unless you want to get the benefit. There, that's that's a very important lesson, Joe. Whatever it is. Um, <laughs> what are we doing? What what are we doing, guys? Like. Honestly, I don't care what party you're in, but let's all take a step back here and like from, let's get back to reality. Let's just come back, everyone. Let's just say, what are we doing? What are we doing? All right. Okay. On moving on from that. As the intro alluded to, for the rest of the video, we are going to dive into the comments. And uh, I always, I always love sifting through the comments. Megan sifts through them. Um, I sift through them. You guys always make me laugh except for a few times you roast me a few times here and it's it's not okay we'll get to that that's another public service announcement down the road uh but i thought we we do something kind of special for this we've done this before but it's been a while um so we'll get into the comments here in a second but first as you guys know you've heard me talk about this for about six months now today is the book release day and i've made a few videos on this already i made one about six months ago and i also made one on our last zed news episode talking about the book, kind of somewhat what's in the book. Uh, So if you have an interest in those, go check it out. I'm not going to repeat myself there. But uh, today, I just want to say thank you guys. I want to say thank you for all of you who supported this. Uh, The thousands of you who have pre-ordered the book, it's 
overwhelming how many of you have gone and had interest in this. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. So once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. But now, on to the comments, guys. And I wanted to start with this one. This clip right here, this is the hardest I've ever laughed on this channel. Um, and it wasn't even a funny joke, but here it is. Let me just show this before I get to some of the comments. Red onions are clearly purple. Yeah, who the hell named that? I've always wondered the same thing, not even joking. You just all, <laughs> I just feel like you're not always sitting around wondering that. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wondered that. So you're telling me for 24 hours out of the day for the last five yes. years? <laughs> it's a stupid. I love that explanation. You're telling me you've always, you're, you're always sitting around thinking about the purple, the purple onions? <laughs> you're not worried about election integrity you're not worried about what's going on in the geopolitical atmosphere you're worried about freaking purple onions man yeah you're not worried if your propane tank is filled or not like, <laughs> life hell. problems so you guys had a field day with this clip and i know some of you may have not have seen that that's why i wanted to bring it back up and the comments were gold and this was the most accurate because this is this is what i was doing this is right here i can just see tyler in the corner of a dimly lit room with his head held in his hands a single light over his head illuminating the haze of an untold number of cigarettes, the stubs of which litter the table. All you can hear is Tyler softly muttering to himself, it's purple, it's clearly purple, you monsters. I don't know who this person is, but do you have a camera in our house? Like, this is, it's been haunting me, folks. It's been haunting me. On another note, I've never seen Zed laugh so hard before. That was funny. Poor guy laughed so hard, he wasn't even making noise and just turning red. I, I don't, I can't explain it. I can't explain the things I laugh at sometimes, but that was, you know, you guys had a field day with that. So I, I had to bring it up for those of you that may have missed out. By far the hardest I've ever laughed on this channel. Moving on to some more comments here. Dear Tyler, I need your help. My three month old won't stop making fart sounds while blowing bubbles and laughing about it. I've told her that's not acceptable. I've told her that's not acceptable in this day of age and to grow up. Please, anything helps. Sincerely, tired. This sounds like a serious problem. And you're going to have to nip it in the butt real, real quick. Otherwise, this is going to be a, a fart laugher for her whole life. <sighs> My suggestion? You're on your own. I don't know. <laughs> Tyler, how do you decide which memes deserve the fake Southern accent and which ones don't? LOL. I don't know, brother. It, it's, it just, it's kind of like the Holy Spirit. It just comes when it comes, man. I don't know. I, I, I can't explain it myself. It just happened, brother. Tyler definitely blows on his hot Cheetos before he eats them. That one hurts. That one hurts, man. You go through and you look at the analytics. It's like 99.8% like ratio. Thousands of comments that are mostly positive. And then you get to this one, man. And this one hits deep. This one hurts. I was like, I'm a character on Idiocracy? That's what I am to you? Huh? Funny story, I don't even eat hot Cheetos. They're too hot, man. Even if you blow on them. He wrote a book about the pizza rolls incident? Finally, we get the full story. You know, I don't want to give away too much of the book, but that's a main plot line. Getting my revenge on Deef. So for any of you that haven't bought it yet, there, there you go. Just kidding. Meme, it's called bags. Tyler, you're right, it's called bags. Everyone else, that's not how you say bags. Bags, I, I don't understand. How do you say it? Ba bags, bags, ba stop, stop it. I can't handle the criticism. I can't do, it's hurting my feelings, stop it. Why is my dog afraid of Tyler's Ed's voice? This is not a joke. Every time I watch an episode, my dog gets scared and starts pacing. Then, he usually finds a small space to hide in. He's okay as soon as I stop the video. I can't figure it out. It's like there's a tone in the background only my dog can hear. And it freaks him out. Dude, I kind of feel bad reading that. It's okay, puppy. Hey, you want a treat? You want a treat? Huh? Huh? Does that help him? Is anyone else's dog freaking out? You want a treat? You want to go outside? You want to go for a walk? Huh? You want to go for a walk? If your dog's freaking out, I'm not sorry. 
I hope that helped. I hope he's out of his space now. You are one notch under Miss Rachel for my daughter. She was fussing and crying. We turned this episode on and she saw your face and lit up and smiled ear to ear. She especially likes it when they zoom in closer to your face. She giggles. All right. You know what? It, I have to say, like, it is very, very uh, interesting and I, I like to see it. But it's also crazy how many people send me videos of their kids watching his education and laughing. And they, they're like babies. They have no idea what I'm even saying. So I, I, know what, I don't know what's going on there. But uh, that is the thing. Maybe we should start a kids channel. Zed for kids. I, may, I don't... Would they, is that a good idea? I, I don't... I mean... Anyways, I'm glad... I'm glad something... It's not like the dog situation where I scared... I scare the dogs. Soothe the babies. I, I love how excited Tyler gets when he can talk about baby blowouts. I've seen some stuff. I've seen some stuff, man. I went to a friend's wedding and he picked the biggest alcoholic friend to be his best man. And literally two words into his best man speech, he puked everywhere. He was like a champagne fountain. Dude. And this on the heels of talking about disastrous wedding speeches, follow the, the rubric. Um, there's two that are amazing. Uh, my best man, Daniel, amazing speech. I think the whole place was crying. Uh, then you had Dave's best man, Dan. Different Dan. Great speech. On the flip side, you go to some other weddings and it gets a little bad. I, you know, I've seen some other good ones too, but I've seen some really, really bad ones. That might be the worst speech story I've ever heard. So thank you for sharing. <laughs> a little blurry here, but let's see what we got. Uh, want your mind blown? The voice of Doug is also voice of Fry from Futurama. Really? And Tyler, congrats. I'm expecting my first child in March. Congratulations, Christopher Reese. It is wild. How many babies, if you're on uh, our Substack uh, and listen to the morning show, there's like, I, I think there's like dozens of people that have, uh, that have had babies in the last few months or are expecting with between January and April. It's wild. So congratulations and uh, keep making babies. <laughs> that's, that's great. And if you guys miss it, yes, my wife and I are expecting in March as well. For next week's punishment, if Zed laughs, he has to post a special episode where he presents his speech that got him a C- in college. Alternatively, he can play pinball against Steve to prove his scores are better. <laughs> okay, I like both those ideas. I love the, Okay, so here's the, the story. I don't even know if it, it's got to be out there somewhere. The speech was something like, um, you know, honor, honoring women, something like that, right? And I was like, okay, I'll do that. And it was shortly after Trump won in 2016. So I honored Kellyanne Conway for being the first woman to uh, manage a successful presidential campaign. And I was, tr I was totally trolling. And uh, honestly, like if we have to do that, like, why, what's, why doesn't she get credit either? So I, I did and my professor didn't like it, obviously. And it was a great speech, phenomenal speech. Probably the best speech in the whole class. She didn't like it, C minus. Love the book cover. The sandals with socks are killing it. Explains a lot actually. <laughs> what does it explain, huh? <laughs> uh, that's what you call the, you know, the trailer special. The sandals and socks used to be styling back then. I don't, uh, my family, my brothers and my mom and I were laughing really hard at the cover because um, <laughs> it is hilarious to look back. What are we doing? Whoever thought that was okay. I imagine a sweet, innocent little seven-year-old Tyler sitting in front of the TV, watching Dragon Ball Z, eating candy corn, just loving life. When his nine-year-old friend who failed a grade or two comes in and says, candy corn sucks. They're for girls. Now, let's watch Chucky. He was scarred for life. Again, what, are you guys like, you guys digging into my past here? How'd you guys find this out? It's that same bastard that stole the Pokemon card from Dave, the, the Charizard. Robbed him blind. Just when I'm starting to think we understand each other, Tyler will go and say something like, watermelons are nasty, or make sure to get the seedless ones. <laughs> how, how am I wrong there? 
Watermelon is so overrated. It's not even funny. It's so overrated. Everyone knows that. It's not like, oh, that's a I love watermelon. Like watermelon candy, totally unrealistic and not even close to what actual watermelon tastes like. It's like a, it's like a chunk of water. You're, you're, watermelon, you're, like it's so watery and non-tasteful. I don't get it. Tyler seems like the kind of guy that would say 10 pennies instead of a dime. The hell? What kind of freaking insult is this? Or maybe that's, maybe that isn't an insult. Maybe, I don't even know what this means, but I'm offended. <laughs> Zed, don't go to Costco. Also Zed, you got to get the chicken from Costco. There are so many things you didn't realize you needed. Classic Zed contradicting himself. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. This is what I've said. I've said, don't go with your wife. God bless her. But she likes to go up every aisle, up and down every aisle. You know, I don't like to do that. I like to go get the chicken, grab a pre-made meal, grab some protein bars, and scat. Takes me two minutes. Me. I wonder what crazy punishment Tyler will give us this week. Tyler, do something illegal. I have never done that. Have I? Don't do anything illegal. I've never done that. I will never do that. Don't put words in my mouth, brother. <laughs> Man, you're one lucky guy. Being a Vikings fan and Twins fan meant you had all that spare time left to write a book. Congratulations to you, and I hope for nothing but the best for you and your family. Is that a joke that like, oh, you guys missed the playoffs. So you're not wasting your time or you're not spending your time. Yeah, I don't know. This next year's the year, man. I'm telling you. The explicit lyrics warning label for music was actually created because of NWA. Interesting little fact for the day. Tyler and Dave are my favorite together. Never gets old. I bet they were fun to raise, LOL. Uh, a white boy in my class thought NWA stood for no whites allowed. Not a bad guess. Oh, jeez. Not quite. Not quite what it means. Megan should have a dolphin pop up on the screen every time Dave laughs. laughs. Not a bad idea. Uh, and if you don't get that joke, head over to Dave's channel and you'll get it real quick. We need to talk about the fact that Tyler just said grinded rather than ground, but always blames the education system. <laughs> you should see my book. Yeah. Guys, guys, guys. Grammar's, grammar's overrated. So overrated, man. <laughs> Tyler's the type of guy to say, that's okay, we'll get him next year. And clap his hands after the Vikings get waxed in the playoffs. Joke's on you, we didn't make the playoffs this year. It's all right, yeah, next year. Next year's our year, man. We're gonna sign Kirk again. We're gonna get some, some missing pieces on defense and next year's the year, dude. The irony of Tyler lecturing on pronunciation. Wor Worcester... Worcester Cherie sauce. Everyone knows that. We had the video. The lady taught us from the video. Worcester Cherie sauce. Stop it. When you listen to Tyler's take on the memes and the advice he gives in every edition, knowing Megan has to edit the whole mess and show up for work the next day sober and drug free. Well, Megan is a legend that way. Uh, I want to point out the fact that Megan screenshotted this and she upvoted. She upvoted that. So. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm just, I, you know, it's, I think that's important information to share. You can laugh at Dr. Fauci, but you still have to admit he's a much better baseball player than he is a doctor. <laughs> Clip it. Well, yeah, he is a pretty good baseball player. Check it out. Happy Father's Day, Tyler. I thought I was the only one to mix ketchup and mustard together. It is great. You and Tyler are the only two people that I have ever heard of doing that. Maybe therapy would help. How's that? Yeah. I think it's, a, I think it's genius, dude. I haven't watched this video yet, but I'm guessing there will be two times Zed doesn't get the joke. Four slip-ups in reading. Mentioning Deve in the pizza rolls and eight stories, two of which aren't even related to the meme. <laughs> you, sp you hit the nail on the head every episode, yep. Thanks, Tyler. Not only did you get my Alexa talking about golf clubs, my husband heard Alexa, then he got started on golf. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Alexa, order golf balls. Sorry. Whoops. Siri! Add golf balls to my list. You're going to need them. Season's coming up. We got a short winter, very bizarre winter. So. Set it for 5 p.m. tomorrow. Oh. 
I was trying to play a joke on you guys, and I just did to myself. <laughs> Whoops. Pee pee poop. <laughs> Grow up. This is the kind of stuff I come across in the comments. <laughs> I'm with Megan. The Emperor's New Groove is one of the best movies ever. If you don't agree, it is likely you haven't seen it or are clinically dead above the shoulders. I still haven't seen it. I I, I don't even know what to say to that. I'm disgusted. Two minutes in, overlooking the graveyard. No, Tyler, that's overlooking the Democrat <laughs> voting pool. Good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's election year. That's funny. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is two videos in a row with no reference to golf. You are making great progress, Tyler. Pickleball players, vegans, golfers, they have to let everyone know about it. You, Tyler, are one in a million for not bringing it up. Keep up the good work, man. <laughs> Dude, I always love that. I love, uh, and I, you know, I think you're joking. Whenever I talk about sports, there's always someone that's like, yeah, sports are dumb. Shy, hey, well, you're here and I like it and I'm going to talk about it. So, sorry. You, you promote your book a lot. I am proud of it. It's my channel. I'm not sorry for promoting it. I prefer to describe myself as hard to kidnap rather than high calorie individual. <laughs> yeah, same. Really hard to kidnap. Adipose privilege. <laughs> Hey, that is one way to, to identify, you know, and you can do that. And it's, it's true, right? Zed making fun of people watching videos while eating. I guess he forgot the previous generations invented the TV tray. Ooh, check and mates. Good point, brother. Good point. I, I, you know what? I've seen Matilda. I've seen the parents. That's what they do. They watch with the, the you know, the TV on. Good one, good one. Tyler tells us to practice lying for when we have kids. Then he tells us to wish for liars' pants to catch on fire every time they lie. <laughs> Quit calling out my inconsistencies. All right? This is not okay. And let's just, let's just put some nuance to this. Wouldn't it be awesome if that if politicians when they were lying like at least their nose grew like Pinocchio wouldn't that be awesome dear Tyler so you're saying that out of all the possible superpowers you would choose the ability to sleep through a plane flight not the ability to teleport so you don't have to take a plane not the ability to fly so you don't have to take a plane not even the ability to heal anything so if the plane crashes you can walk away from it no for you your superpower would be sleep Tyler's it narcoleptic man <laughs> what can I say I do like your other ideas, but mine's better. Zed pulling out the DQ stat is the single most enticing statistic when considering moving to Minnesota. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Guys, I, I always say this. Minnesota is a great place, especially when you get outside of the, the two county area. Uh, it, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful state. There's lakes everywhere, wildlife everywhere. It's, it's, a, it's a great place. I'd bet that D would love to have a tattoo with Cher. <laughs> what? <laughs> now we're roasting Dave. Come on. Come on, guys. You've opened my eyes. I'm going back to college to get my degree in underwater basket weaving in the 19th century in women's rights. Thank you, Zed. Um, you know, I've had people that they're not happy with what I think about college. Is that a good idea? Absolutely not. Um, are all these general credits a scam? Absolutely they are. 110 percent you're you are you're paying tuition for classes that they're check the box classes you don't it's stupid you don't need that to have a future job um and yeah other jobs nursing uh mechanic you know diesel mechanic welder all that stuff yes you need to go to college for that of course but that's a lot cheaper generally um you don't have to take these stupid general classes in a lot of those cases so yes uh yeah you hear me talk about college all the time and I just, I had to say that because I've seen some, some comments about it. Interesting fact, George Washington has seen the same number of Viking Super Bowl wins as Tyler Zed. That's a uh, ban, 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 Antonio. Zed not recognizing McDonald's ashtray really broke me. Uh, I, kind of, I vaguely remember that episode, but a thousand likes. Did, uh, 
A lot of you guys remember those ashtrays, huh? Jesus and education all in one day. I call that a win-win. P.S. We never do any of the punishment. Whoa! How dare you? How dare you? That's good. Get to church. Men, women love to hold grudges for decades. Tyler, D filled up the pizza rolls bag with air and left it in the fridge on March 8th, 1999. <laughs> stop. Stop. Pointing out the holes in my show. Every story Tyler tells is true. Also, he knows someone from every single line of work. Yes, I believe him. This is true. Fact check, true. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for backing me up, folks. Thank you for backing me up. What can I say? What can I say? It's not rocket appliances. Kurt Russell. A beautiful mind. <laughs> oh, enjoy that one. For all you insiders. Yeah, that's that's good. Big L on not knowing who Al Bundy is, Ed. This is the biggest scandal since Kurt Russell Gate. <laughs> Al Bundy. Mm. Didn't I, I thought I said I did know Al Bundy. He's the guy on uh, Love is Marriage, right? Is that, am I, am I wrong? So all this video has really proven to me is your editor doesn't believe a word that comes out of your mouth, LOL. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. You know what? How can I have someone working for me that doesn't believe me? This, I'm, I'm, this is a new revelation to me right now. Megan, you better watch out. I keep experiencing this roller coaster of agreeing with Zed 100%, then completely losing all hope after hearing him pronounce bagel. <laughs> guys, 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 I just, I feel so attacked today. I miss sleep. We go to bed at like 8.30 and wake up at 5. My dude, that's a full eight and a half hours of sleep. You don't miss sleep. You just don't like waking up early and miss sleeping in. A feeling I completely emphasize with. Hey, I didn't mention the fact that 8.30 bedtime, but I'm, I'm up till around 10, you know? Wake up a few times here and there usually. So it ain't a, it ain't a full eight hours of sleep, okay? And yes, I do miss sleeping in. Wow, I read the summary on Amazon. I had no idea. Currently living in a trailer park and feeling discouraged about where our family is at right now. Your story's inspiring, so thank you for sharing it with us. God bless, Tyler. Um, you know, we're going to end on this comment here. And uh, first off, let me just say, there's absolutely nothing wrong with living in a trailer park. Some of the best people I know still live in a trailer park. Um, and so my family lived in a trailer park throughout my elementary school years. And then uh, we... We moved out to my family, my mom and dad, they both were getting promotions. They were doing well in their jobs. We moved into a new house. And then uh, the, the book is kind of highlighting how uh, that all kind of came crumbling down and how we dealt with it afterwards. And let me just say too, we decided to, to call it Trailer Park Parable because uh, I think our family represents a lot of people that still may live there. There's this word that goes around in today's world, especially when, you know, social discourse. And we, we criticize it often on this channel, but the, the word privilege, right? Oh, there's this privilege that this whole group of people has, which, uh, you know, when you go to a trailer park, that it's kind of hard to find sometimes. So, um, and this story is, is about that is about this, you know, a family that was in a trailer park and things that we dealt with. So, um, I hope that this story is inspiring. And we could talk about it a lot more, especially if you guys have questions, especially after you guys read it. I know, and I hope some of you are reading it today. Um, we'll do a whole episode about that for those of you that are interested in that. And I don't know when we'll do that, but we'll, um, we'll kind of see how, what you guys think. Um, one other thing I'll say, if you guys do read this, uh, please go review it on Amazon or Barnes & Noble, wherever you purchased it from. Please give it an honest review. Obviously, I hope you guys give five stars, but I, I want you guys to be honest and I want you to, to tell us what you really think. And if you think it can help someone else, please share it. I don't know, but it's, uh, it's my, my main hope is that many people read it and it can help many people. And hopefully, again, inspire. So much more on that later. What do you think about today's video? What do you think about these comments? Was I unfairly roasted? Huh? Was I? Also, did you get your copy of Trailer Park Parable yet? Oh, uh, one thing I did not mention, if you are waiting on the Audible book, the, the audio book on Audible, 
That comes out February 20th. So apologies if you were hoping that it came out today, but it, that's just generally how the, the book world works. Print comes out first, then audiobook. So we have a few more weeks, unfortunately. Let me know what you think down in the comments while you're down there. Please like this video. Please help it get recommended to others. And that's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. For the children. Idiots.